Good afternoon, everyone. I've got a sunspot on my face. Here, let me move out of the way a bit. Um, I am here this afternoon to share with you my new tutorial. Um, and actually, I'm going to be showing you how to do a part of my new January tutorial. Um, and the other part of the tutorial is called um, the Mini Mailboxes tutorial. Um, this tutorial um, is available free with a purchase on my blog but uh, today I am doing a giveaway on both Facebook and on YouTube uh, if you uh, comment down below and let me know uh, what you would be using the mini mailboxes tutorial for I will enter you into the drawing and I will do the drawing this coming Friday January 25th 2019 and I'll be uh, drawing a winner from both YouTube and also from Facebook so uh, I hope you will comment below and I will uh, do the drawing on Friday. Um, so I want to show you, first of all, um, today we are going to be making these cute little favors. And guess what they hold inside? They hold a Ghirardelli square or also I made them size for Ghirardelli minis. So they're like a little envelope and they open up and uh, they hold a Ghirardelli chocolate inside. So I thought for these envelopes, what would be the best place or to put these little guys is I've got a cute little mini mailbox to stick them in. This size mailbox holds three of the Ghirardelli envelopes. Um, and then this one right here, sorry, put this down. This one holds the Ghirardelli minis. I don't know if you know this, but a Ghirardelli chocolates started to make two sizes of Ghirardelli squares. Um, they started off with these ones, which are the regular Ghirardelli squares. And then recently I started seeing Ghirardelli minis. So I've got mailboxes uh, for both sizes and envelopes for both sizes. And today I will show you how I made the little mini envelopes. And then if you'd like to place an order in my store, you can uh, get the tutorial for free. Um, or the other ways that you can get it, you can purchase the tutorial outright. You can comment below and uh, try to win the drawing. Um, or um, if you are part of my uh, team, um, if you purchase the starter kit, um, you get access to all of my tutorials for free. So different ways for you to get my tutorial. So I thought without further ado, let me turn my camera around and let me show you how to make these super cute envelopes. All right, the sun is shining so hard today, so that's why it was hitting my face in a really awkward way. If you're placing an order in my store to get the tutorial for free, be sure to use this host code. If you get up to $75 when placing your order, I have a free extra that I sent to everyone that places at least $75 in uh, order for me. Um, they get this beautiful two-tone um, ribbon um, from me at the end of the month. And if you place a $50 order in my Stampin' Up! store this month, or increments of 50 and 100 dollars you get rewarded by stamping up with a free celebration product so that's always a cool thing too okay so a couple of things that i use to make this i use the um meant to be stamp set um and for the mini mailboxes that i made i also used um the framelit so it was a bundle um, if you want to know all the exact supplies I use, um, just click on my link below and I have a full shopping list there and I, it tells you exactly the products that I used. The other kind of key ingredient is this um, envelope punch board to create the little uh, mini envelopes. And then I also used, um, I need to remember the name of the designer series paper this beautiful valentine designer series paper is called all my love designer series paper so we'll, we will be using um squares cut from that paper to create the envelopes so why don't we do the bigger envelopes first so those are those two and so to create that favor the envelope 
you will need a four and a half inch by four and a half inch square of that designer series paper. So you're going to, this is the little uh, scoring tool that comes out of the side. You just pull it out. Um, and then what you need to do is line your four and a half inch square up with the two inch mark right there. And then here is the scoring line you can see right here. So you start up here and you score and you punch. Now designer series paper is a little bit harder to work with in terms of the finding the line to line it up. So you can see the score line here. And now you just need to line that score line up with this little pointy thing right here. So you no longer look at this ruler. You're going to be looking at this little, the score line and this little pointy thing. So you're going to score and then you're going to punch. Each time you move it around, you're going to score and punch. So now I'm lining up my little pointer thing again. And I'm going to score and punch. And then one more time, line that up, score and punch. Now the other thing that really helps with this is I want to corner around the corners. So let me just move this up a little bit so you can see. So each of these corners can be rounded on the back side of the envelope punch board. So just make sure it's in all the way and then give it a little punch on all of those four corners. All right. So then you need to decide what side of the paper do you want facing up? I've already got an envelope with the hearts facing out, so I want to have this side facing out. So I'm going to place it down on my surface, and then I'm going to fold these pieces in on all of the score lines. And then I'm going to fold the two smallest sides in. I'm just using my my tool here to smooth down that fold so they'll stay down for me. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of Terran tape. This is double sided tape and I'm just going to add this right here and right here. Okay, and then take off the liner And then I'm going to fold this down. Okay, so there is the little envelope and it's ready to have the chocolate put inside. So this is a regular Ghirardelli square. Um, if you don't have Ghirardelli squares where you live, you probably have a flat type of chocolate maybe in this packaging that you could use instead. Um, and then you can just make an envelope and test out whatever candy you have to see if it works. So you just slide that in there, see how nicely that goes in. And then what I do to hold that little guy shut is I use a mini glue dot. Let me grab my paper piercing tool and I'm just going to let's poke, pick up the last one on the roll. And I just put it at the top here at the peak of the envelope. And then I'm just going to close that up. So here's my little envelope, and now let's make it look a little bit more like a letter that's going to be mailed. So I'm going to just take a little, let me take a little square. Um, this one I made just a little bit longer than in my original tutorial because I'm using one of the greetings that's going to be just a little bit longer. For the meant to be, um, for the Happy Valentine's Day, these squares started out to be one and three quarters by one and a quarter. I made this one just a little bit longer at one and seven eighths and one and a quarter because I'm going to be using the greeting just for you. And so I'm opening up my lovely lipstick ink pad. Um, I'm going to ink up my just for you greeting and I'm just going to stamp it right in the center like that. And, oh, let's do some more stamping while we're here. I'm also going to stamp this little heart that comes with that stamp set I showed you earlier. 
and I am just going to stamp this right here on the corner and I can punch out my little heart with the three quarter inch circle punch like that and then for this to make it look a little bit more like a label I am going to bring back in my envelope punch board and I am just going to corner round um, the four corners so that's like pretty easy peasy and the corner all right and then I can just take some light adhesive like this snail right here and I'm just going to put some on the back of my label and put some back on the back of this little heart which kind of reminds me of a stamp okay so now kind of I'm just going to kind of lay this on here without pushing it down and I kind of arrange it and just kind of put that down and so now that kind of looks like a little piece of mail but it's got chocolate in it I love it what's better than chocolate mail at Valentine's you know it's pretty cool all right so let me show you how to make the Ghirardelli minis envelope slightly different measurements so this time I have a square that is four inches by four inches. This time we're going to line it up at the one and three quarter inch mark. So you're just looking along this ruler here and line it up at one and three quarter inches. Where did my little score device go? Here we go. So again, we're going to score and punch. We're lining up the score line, okay? Line it up with this little pointer here. Score and punch. Find your score line. Line it up. If you ever have trouble finding that score line, the best thing that I can tell you is put more light on your work surface or change the angle of your envelope punch board so that your um, score line catches so it catches some um, light and shadow. So if you angle it differently, sometimes you can see it better. Today I have a really bright room so I can see my um, score line really well. So then I'm just going to turn this again, match up my score line with a little pointer, score and punch. All right, so now we have the envelope scored up. Oh, I forgot to do one thing, didn't I? Let's corner around. Okay, I love this envelope punch board. So quick and easy to make different size envelopes. Now you won't find this size envelope on here. There's a lot of different um, envelope sizes on here, but these ones are too small. So I actually had to sit there and figure out how to create ones that would be small enough. So um, you won't find these measurements on here, but they they fit and it works exactly the same. Once you've got the initial um, dimensions and the first lineup, everything else you do to create the envelope is exactly the same. So let me um, fold this. So I want this side outside because I've already created one with this side. So let's fold this up. The side that I want to have show on the outside is facing down. Um, you can also use your bone folder or your tool that you use to score. And remember, I want these two little ones um, to be coming in. Um, the two bigger ones are on the top and the bottom. And then I again, I'm going to use just a little bit of tear and tape right here on this angle. Oop. It tore right off of my tear and tape roll. So let me just grab this. I was very forceful. All right. So now we just remove the liner. The liner wants to stick to me. It is very dry in my house here today. 
it was very cold this weekend and that makes it very dry in the house because the heater is running all the time. So now we're just going to fold up this bottom flap, okay? And then we're gonna take our little itty bitty gear dilly minis and I hope you guys can find these. I see these, um, I've seen them in a bunch of different stores now. Originally, I only saw them on one store, but they're in my local grocery store. I saw them at Target. So if you see something, um, I, if you're in the US, if you see something in Target, you know it's pretty widespread that you can find them everywhere. Um, I love these because they're just so cute and easy. Um, so slide your little Ghirardelli Mini into your envelope. See, isn't that cute? And then you grab the little mini glue dot and stick it right on that peak. And then you can close this up like that. So by just using one mini glue, to, glue dot, you will have to tear open the package a little bit. So it's not really, it, it can be reseal, resealed if you do it carefully, but it's not something that tends to, you know, open, close, open, close. Whereas the mailbox, I'll show you in a moment, you can open and close it as many times as you want. And, uh, that is not the problem. Um, so how would I decorate this one? So this time I would use um, my one and three quarter inch by one and a quarter square. I'll use a different greeting this time with my lo lovely lipstick ink pad. This one says, to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. And I, I kind of like having uh, friendship valentines as well as having valentines for my family um, it's nice to give a friend a valentine that was a little crooked let me see if I can do a better job by stamping this on the back that's a little better you know sometimes even I stamp crooked <laughs> actually I stamp crooked more often than you would think but um, uh, it's my refusal to put the labels on the back um, that is probably hindering me a little bit but I just um, I don't want to spend the time putting them on there um, I am now corner rounding with my envelope punch board luckily this label is big enough that I can still hold on to it and punch and then this one um, there isn't as much room on the front. So what you can do is you can take that same little heart as before, and this time instead of punching it out as in a circle, um, just cut out the heart and put it on there like that. So I would adhere both of those down onto my little envelope. I'm not gonna do that, but let me show you. So here is, my mailbox and here are my envelopes and so now you can just stick the envelopes inside the mailbox like that three of them will fit in this mailbox and there you go so isn't that kind of cute to have like a, a mailbox to house those Ghirardelli chocolates in? And then for this little guy, I think only two of these will fit in here. So we'll slide two of these guys into my mailbox. Oh, the back is sticking. All right, stick two of them in there and then you can close this up. And this is the little mini mailbox. So those are the two mini mailboxes. And let me pull out the envelopes so you can see again how cute they are. These envelopes are cute on their own too, but they're even cuter inside of the mini mailboxes. So um, the benefits, of course, of ordering, if you order from me, you can get this tutorial for free. Um, you can um, get a celebration item if you order 50 and, and 50 and $100 increments. Um, if you get the starter kit, you can get all my tutorials for free. But I also wanna give everyone a chance to get this tutorial um, for free in a drawing. And I'll do that drawing on Friday, January 25th, 2019. Um, and all you need to do 
is post a comment down below um, in the comment section and let me know who you would give um, one of these uh, mini mailboxes to and I will do a drawing for the winner. Um, let me turn my camera around. So I hope you've seen how cute my mini mailboxes tutorial uh, was. Um, my tutorials, uh, in case you've never had a tutorial from me before, um, they are very detailed tutorials. Um, I take you step by step through how to make things. It is a PDF tutorial. This particular one has over 70 photos. So um, I hope when people get my tutorials, they realize how much work and love went into them. I want to make it easy for you to create the projects that I have designed. And that's why I take so much care and um, doing all the photography work. Um, this is my design um, that that I figured out with all my own dimensions. Um, so I hope you will um, appreciate all the work that went into it if you get one of my tutorials. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know below. I will be checking my comments. And so um, I'll be doing two drawings. Again, one on Facebook. And once I load this video up on YouTube, um, I will also be drawing um, one um, winner from YouTube. So I hope you guys like my tutorial. If you um, want to see more photos of the tutorial, um, please click on the link in the description of this, of this video and it will take you to everything that you need to know about the tutorial, all the supplies that I used for it and everything that you could possibly want to know. Um, if not, I also have a contact form. You can uh, uh, contact me directly and I'd be happy to help you out if you have any questions. All right, guys, have a great week and I hope it is shining. The sun is shining where you are at too. Okay, guys, bye-bye.